this is Matt from Invest Squad. Today is Friday, November 6, 2020, and today is another day with a major news announcement. So it seems like every day this week we've had something major happening and still unresolved with the election that took place on Tuesday. Wednesday we were kind of sorting through those results. Thursday, we had FOMC announcement, and Friday, we have non-farm payrolls. So lots of impactful news this week. I'm not sure that any of it is, is as impactful as the election, but the non-farm payrolls number is due out this morning, and it is a market-moving number on most occasions. So let's go ahead and take a look at what has happened historically in a similar scenario to what we have right now. And I'm going to describe that similar scenario as... Uh, the price action that we've seen this week where we closed on the highs of the week yesterday ahead of the non-farm payrolls and this morning ahead of the number we are trading lower. So, of course, I don't know where we're going to end up opening up at, but currently we're trading down a bit. So I think it's probably more likely that we are going to be gapping down this morning. So that's what we'll look at. So let me go ahead and set this up in Discover. We'll be looking at all four instruments. The setup's going to be based upon getting long at the open, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. The opening filter, as I said, simply using gap down here. Uh, once we get closer to the open, this is something you might want to play around with and zone in on exactly where we're going to be opening. Are we opening uh, below the low or are we opening in range? Um, or who knows, maybe we, we gap up. Crazier things have happened here. So I'm going to use gap down, which simply means opening below the prior day close. I'm going to go to the price patterns next. And I'm going to say that yesterday was a five-day high close. Uh, NFP numbers usually out on a Friday, so that means uh, this is going to be putting you at the high of the week in the overwhelming majority of cases here when you use that five-day high close ahead of the number. So that means yesterday was at a five-day high close. In the indicator section, I'm going to say that we are above a 200-day simple moving average. I usually add a 10, but... Uh, probably don't need to since I've got a five-day high close happening here, and I'll just keep as many samples as possible by uh, not using that. And then lastly, I'm going to go into the market events, and I'm going to say that today is non-farm payrolls report. Let me go ahead and hit that and then hit view results. And here we go. So these are the results of going long at the open, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you gap down following a five-day high close above a 200-day simple moving average, and today is the non-farm payrolls report. So historically, uh, 25 samples dating back to 2003 in the S&P. We've got 24 in the NASDAQ, 27 in the Dow, 25 in the Russell. And if we take a look at the win rates here, you know, they're pretty mild. Uh, S&P coming in 48%. The NASDAQ just a touch weaker, 46 The Dow the strongest at about 56 and the Russell 48%. So, you know, it feels like we've looked at this pattern, um, a couple different variations of it here uh, this year as we try to look at it when it is uh, due out. And there's some that are fairly strong uh, looking for or have historically closed higher on this day with a decent probability. Uh, this scenario, not nearly as strong as some of the others that we've looked at in the past. So that five-day high, high close with the gap down may be a combination that's just not as strong on non-farm payrolls report. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at that average win, average loss as well, looks like the average loss a little bit bigger than the average win in the S&P, quite a bit bigger in the NASDAQ for the average loss compared to the average win. Uh, the average loss in the Dow, a little bit larger than the average win. And the Russell is the only one where the average win is larger than the average loss. Uh, so historically, not a strong edge showing up or not a bias here um, on this pattern. And it is uh, weaker than some of the other uh, non-farm pattern, non-farm payrolls. Uh, report day patterns that we've looked at in the past. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.